Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You join me again at Team Sports in Sheffield. This is for the final, the third session of this grid 3 for 2 members only Monday night. So, the first session went badly wrong. I had the broken cart that, despite being told, was fine, it clearly wasn't. Second session, slightly better as we brought ourselves back into the time that the other members were doing but still in last place. So the aim was to go out and just not come last this time. So unfortunately this this session I'm dealing with a blister on my left hand that developed during the end of the second session. It was quite a big one. I won't go into graphic details but it was quite uncomfortable. It was on my left hand and I was yeah not happy. You can see me lifting it slightly there just to not catch it so much. I worked around it, it wasn't the end of the world. So first lap, we're on that one minute mark, not quite where I wanted to be. There is still this heat wave outside, it was 30 degrees outside despite being 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, so one minute lap time is absolutely fine with me. But this time the idea was to try and actually keep up with the cars in front, you can just about make them out in the distance. I've not been losing too much time over the out lap, the first and second lap, so I'm quite happy so far. And the idea is just to keep consistent laps, even if they're not quite as fast as I'd want them to be. Now I do suffer a slight issue at some point during this session, but we'll get to that when it happens. Uh, my back just gives way a little bit and I just have to slow down. But generally, I'm able to keep up, so the idea is, let's see what we can do, concentrate, see if I can not come last. Now this is a members only session, so we're not expecting any red, yellow flags, and if they are, they're not going to be for any particularly lengthy periods. So it's a full 15 minute session, flat out as much as possible. As I was in the last two sessions, I'm keeping an eye behind me as I come out of the tighter corners, just to see who's coming up behind me, how quickly they're coming up behind, because I'm not there to hold anyone up. I went on a little bit of a ranty, yeah, a little bit of a rant at the last video on that. I got, into myself, got myself into a little loop as I was recording the voiceover and kept telling you that I was not there to block people. So yeah, I'm keeping an eye behind me, but at this point I'm focusing mostly forwards. Now the two in front are just beginning to pull away slightly, as we can't even see them through here now just make them out there as they go up the ramp. So they're not too far ahead, but they are obviously pulling away now. I can't keep that pace up. Another one minute, so again, that's three consistent laps already on the one minute mark. Now you may have seen just on the left there, there is a cart catching me. So I'm just starting to keep an eye on him a bit more now, so I can get out of his way as I need to. You can see I've actually caught the, the two in front slightly there because I think they got into a little bit of a fight, uh, on track fight, not physical fight obviously, um, and yeah just slowed themselves down a little bit so I caught them, but not, not enough to catch up and be in there myself, but that's fine. I'd rather have clear laps where I can focus on myself. focus on getting as quick as I can. I'm always quick through this section I think. I do like that top corners, uh, those top two corners where you're absolutely flat out. I do like that section. Another one minute lap. The one minute two, they are starting to come down. Hopefully we can break into that 59 second mark. running slightly wide through that corner that's not ideal and you can see those two are so they're fighting so hard that I thought that they are getting a lot closer in front nice and cleanly through those hairpins and then up the ramp but I'm waving this guy past as he has now closed up a reasonable gap to me so cart number 30 plan is stick to the back of him and see what I can do, see if I can keep up, see how quickly he pulls away, or if he doesn't pull away at all. So you can see I'm quicker through there, but I actually have to lift slightly as I'm 
course up to the back of him there, up the ramp. We'll go through these corners, see where I'm slower. So I've already lost a little bit of space in that first corner. That would have actually been a quick lap had I not backed out to let him pass by the looks of things. I've clipped the inside barrier there, but it's I haven't really lost any time to him this time. I managed to stick on the back of him quite well. Lost a little bit through there, I'd say, and lost a lot of it through there. Entry to this corner, and I've gained a fair bit, but on the exit, I've lost it all again. So we go up the ramp, and I've gained a little bit through that hairpin as well, I think. But then I've lost it coming up the ramp because I'm probably a bit heavier than he is. But flat out all through here. He gave it a twist on the brakes, I've given it a twist on the brakes. And you can just see how much I close up through there. And it's not just where he's accelerating and I'm, or he's braking and I'm accelerating. That's into the 59 seconds then, that is the fastest lap of this session. The 59.7. Obviously I know I can go faster. It just wasn't to be today. You saw there, that was three bumps that guy gave as he came past. Would not expect that on a member's session. If he had stuck it up the inside and had been clean or had been patient enough, I'd have seen that he was there and I'd have let him through. That was totally unacceptable behaviour from a member especially. Wouldn't have expected that at all on this session. As we come up around the top here, I am pleased to see that that marshal very clearly shows the no bumping board. Slightly disappointed that it was left out to show me whether that was to show me that they'd show him or whether that was because they thought I was responsible in some way I'm not sure that at the time I thought nothing of it it's only now when I've watched the video back that I've decided maybe it was held out for me specifically as well because I didn't have much opportunity to yes that third bump was me but he pushed me twice I just kept on my line and he stuck it up the inside I didn't have anywhere else to go I don't think I could have done anything differently there so yeah slightly disappointing if that was still held out for me but if it wasn't and it was just I've shown it to you I gave Marshall the thumbs up because at the time my head my thought process was ah uh, could they shown him the no bumping board yeah, they're letting me know that you showed, they showed you to him. So that's why I gave him the thumbs up. Unfortunately, that actually caused a bit of an issue. You may have heard as I came down the... From the top two corners, I came down the ramp. It gave a little... Shout of pain. There was an issue with my back. Not sure exactly whether it was that bumping that caused it or whether it was the three sessions that just, just I've overdone it. I do generally have issues with my back. I've not normally had issues from go-karting only once and that was my shoulder rather than my back. But the rest of this session, any time I turn left, I'm feeling it. Just the left hand side of my lower back is just, I'm just in a lot of pain with it, particularly those bumpy, that bump actually come down from the top to the bottom there, that's a particularly painful section. It is what it is, I managed it and as you can see I'm still consistently on that one minute lap time. As I said, slower than I wanted to be, I've pulled over to let someone pass because I've seen him catch me, he gives a nice wave of thank you and I'm going to try and stick to the back of him. So I've added some subtitles from what I can work out what I've said. You can see me leaning over in pain as just trying to move myself. So yeah, at this point I've realised it's starting to hurt whenever I turn left. That's unfortunate because most of the turns on this track layout are left hand corners. But I can manage it. I've just got to put up with it, not make mistakes, 
and try and keep those consistent one minutes. I clearly do them. This is my one minute time. This is all I can do. But I'm off there. Yes, I slowed down to let that clock fast and it did catch somewhat quickly. I'm done. I can't go any faster. So I know I can't go any faster than I have been. I actually do back off ever so slightly at this point because these left-handers were just getting really painful to do. Obviously in a cart, when you're turning left, you're wanting to be leaning to the right to give you the grip on the rear right wheel, which is where you need it. And obviously that's counterintuitive and you're obviously fighting the faster you're turning left as well. So these top two corners, the faster you're turning to the left, the harder it is to lean to the right. And yeah, I, I backed off through that one. I'm not going flat out through there. You can see I'm clearly not going to make my one minute lap time. Let's see what I do end up with. So one minute five, I backed off quite hard there. There's not a lot else I can do. And I'm thankful to see a red flag come out. I wasn't expecting any flags in this session, being the members session, but it happens. It is only a short one, but it's enough of a rest. With the keen marshal there, getting the flag out slightly before the lights turn yellow. But there we go. Had a quick rest, quick breather. I did wiggle myself a little bit inside the seat to try and see if there was anything that was just caught, whether it was a trap nerve or anything, but this was definitely back spasms that I get. Something I've learned to live with over the years. I see a chiropractor fairly regularly, uh, which is almost as expensive as go-karting regularly. But yeah, I'm seeing him soon, so he'll have a look and see what needs to be done there. And I will very soon be investing in a back and rib protector to see if that helps. Hopefully it will. Uh, although this is the first time it's actually happened to me whilst go-karting, as I say. So hopefully it's a one-off thing maybe it's because I've done the three sessions rather than the two that I would normally do but we'll find out next time I try three sessions or more so that was a 1 minute 16 that had the red flag in it I have backed off not really unexpected I do decide to start pushing again obviously it's eased off a little bit where I did have that quick rest that, that did actually help by only being, what was it, 10 seconds or whatever. So I'm back on a push lap and we'll see how quickly I can go. There's no traffic behind me, there's not really any traffic in front of me. I can just do what works for me. I think I clipped the inside barrier there, that's not something I normally do, but that's fine. Looks like we're on for a one minute lap here. Yeah, another one minute. So even with the pain, I can still manage it and keep those times consistent. We've only got the one more timed lap left. Obviously in the class, I don't know that. However, I've looked at the screen. So I've managed to look at the screen as I've come around the corner there to see that I have made it past the one minute lap time. I managed to glance at the screen as I came around the pits there and just see where I was positioned. I knew I knew I was towards the bottom of the screen and I knew my name's three three characters, it's Rob, so it's nice and easy to spot on the screen. I think everyone else in this session did actually have their full names on display. So we'll see. So that's the end of this session, and as I gave one more comment. Thanks guys for watching, join me again next week where I've got something different for you. Please do like the video, comment and subscribe.